Welcome back. Now let us see how to solve the question number 13 in the certified Kubernetes administrator killer.sh exam simulation. This is question number 13 and the task rate is 4 percentage. So using this command to switch the context, let's do it on both the terminals. So they say create a pod named multi container playground. So we use kubectl run to create a pod and in the default namespace uh, with three containers named uh, C1, C2, and C3. Um, let's create one container for now uh, using this image, a single container pod. Using this image and have the name have the name of the node where its pod is running available as environment variable my node name right uh, first let's grab uh, the YAML manifest. Uh, into 13.yaml. Let's open the file 13.yaml now. These are not necessary. Uh, so, so they say we need three containers. Um, first container name should be C1. Let's give it the name C1 and it should be using the image which looks good. Um, and it should have an environment, uh, environment variable um, where it should automatically fetch uh, the host name where it is uh, running or no name where it is running and it should be available for the containers. So we need to use Kubernetes documentation, say environment variable. Um, usually, uh, let's search for this my node name. Seems there is an example of it already. Yes, so we have to use this environment name. Yeah, field path spec dot node name. So this should do the trick. So this is for the first container. We are going to do this. Let's check the indentation. I think that this looks okay. So C1 should be of image, which looks good and have the name of the node. Okay, this we have taken care of this one. Now let's look at um, the second one. We need uh, we need another um, container called C2 and what they say is that uh, it should sorry the name should be C2 and the image that it use should be busy box now dot on and write the output and write the output of the date command every second in this file. You can use uh, this specific command for this. So we have to use commands. Um, 
it if there is any command. Otherwise, um, we can also do another thing um, where kubectl run container name is, sorry, yeah, run a pod, let's name p1 or 13, 13-1. Um, image that it should run should be busy box and it should write command uh, and it should write it to um, the shared volume okay so dry run equal to client or yaml so we have to use the command. Um, it's better to use it at the end. Command. The command says this. Or otherwise just say this. We have to mm, the only way to do this, I suppose, is um using the command um and giving sh um, dash c as a command uh, in inside the shell uh, let's Let's do it with the double quotes. Yeah, let's copy the pull command and paste it here. This should do. Uh, I think we have to give some spacing. Okay, this should take care of it. And now the container three uh, should have name c3 and uh, it should be running busy box like a bow 131 and constantly send the content of the date block file from the shared volume so again, again we have to make use of the command here Dashing and let's copy paste this one here. So this will write to that file. Okay, so I think we have created three containers. Um, the other thing that we have not done yet is basically the volume. Uh, we have not created a volume and volume mounts. Uh, volume volumes in a pod uh, 
this one seems to be a good example. Let's see, let's pick this one. Let's search for mount. Mm, this should do. Or let's search, search for host path. So let's pick this for volume. So we'll, so we'll use the volume, and the path that we're going to use uh, would be your wall path volume path um, so this is a common volume let's say let's keep it as test volume for now because there's no indication like you have to use this one for uh, this name for your volume uh, now use the same volume mount for all the three containers so we have to use Or container container C one container C two I think the indentation is not in its right place. Image, come on. So here we will paste this one. Yeah. Mount path. Oops. No, that is not necessary. But we'll say you are all path. You are all path. You are. Um, wall path let's save this and try to run this by number 38 by number 38 okay indentation Let's give one more indent. Volume. Think. 
create it again. This already exists, so let's kill the part that already exists. We've got delete part and that says in the in the yeah multi sorry the default namespace multi container playground. So I should have supplied the dash dash uh, grace period equals zero to um, forcefully terminate these parts. Otherwise you have to uh, spend some more time, extra time waiting for this to do its job. So it says it's created. So cube got little get parts, uh, multi-container playground three of three is running let's describe this um cube got little describe pod multi-container pod uh let's see so the volume uh looks correct so let's see if this have three containers c1 c2 c3 uh, c1 using this image which is specified there looks good c2 using busy box 131 c3 looks good and all of them are using the respective commands um, let's inspect a little bit further uh, let us now check kubectl um, exec um, in this multi container pod, sorry, yeah, multi container pod. What can we do? Let's see the sorry, in the container C1. Um, let us execute the command. Uh, if we say print env or print environment, it will, it will print the environment variables. So it's printing everything. Uh, but what is of our interest is um, to see if the my node name is set properly with the proper node name. So it says cluster one worker two. Let's um, get the parts and let's see a oh, white let's see if that is running on the cluster one worker two it is so that seems to have worked so environment variable is working fine let us now um, check the container two uh, so what it should do is it should be writing something to this path so Let's say um, um, let's say cat um, your while a volume path date dot log to see um, it seems to be writing logs each and every second that seems to be working well as expected and container C three. Um, constantly send the content to the date log log file let's check this as well it's doing the same thing so i think it's all set up properly it's all working fine so that's it for uh, the question number 13 uh, thank you for watching